The pit frames above the shafts of Kellingley Colliery stand almost idle. They're being prepared for the site to be cleared, a major and at times complex operation after the thousands of tonnes of coal that were mined here. Down shaft number one, a handful of contractors are working to seal it off in conditions which resemble a furnace. But this is water. The reason we're using the water uh, as opposed to a pneumatic breaker as you'll see shortly, the, the rebars are, are left intact and the, there's no cracking to the walls uh, and it's a safe method. And this work's taking place in the shaft where over the years hundreds of miners have travelled down in a cage 750 metres to the coal face. Below us there is still at least 30 years supply of coal. It was December when the last of it was mined and the last shift left this colliery. But what was then a thriving workplace is now all but deserted. We're currently standing 10 metres down into the mine shaft, and what would normally happen here is you'd have two conveyances going up and down the 750 metre deep shaft, uh, carrying up to 120 men in each conveyance. You'd have all the uh, power systems and cables, you'd have, a, you'd have 20 odd ropes in this shaft. So it would be quite a busy shaft. And we find ourselves here today stood on a steel platform ready to cast the concrete plug. I never felt I'd be ever involved in a project like this. Uh, it's quite an amazing thing. I, I've, I've read about Kellingley on the internet and realised it was, it was started when I was born. And uh, yes, it's an eerie feeling to be putting a close to, to, to a job. The machine will do its work in both shafts, which will then be capped with concrete. In a matter of weeks, Kellingley's gates will be locked, even to the few who've been overseeing its final days. Katie Oscroft, ITV News at Kellingley Colliery.